Logo Design, Photoshop, or Illustrator. Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions, and I'm going to talk to you today about um, logo design, which software you should be using, Photoshop or Illustrator. And basically, the short answer is both. But before getting into detail, you first kind of need to understand the difference between raster and vector images. And while that's another video, um, I'll basically just say that vector images are images that you can scale as big as many times as you want and they'll remain high quality okay so because they're not based on pixels raster on the other hand are based on pixels so photographs things like that you scale them up if they're too low res they will become blurry and pixelated okay now illustrator deals with vector photoshop deals with raster when you're starting logo design you want to start in illustrator you want to first design your very basic one or two color logo in illustrator this is a logo you'll be using on your business card on um, simple one color newsprint if you're advertising in a newspaper things like that then once we've got the basic shell of our logo then we can start um, having fun with it okay so then we can bring it into Photoshop and then we can create some texture in there we can bevel the edges we can add some um, some shadowing we could add some glare we can texturize it we can make it look like metal make it look like um, any texture you want we can even turn it into a 3d logo from there this is where we have fun with the logo and create versions that we can use on more intricate um, print ads or web ads whatever Okay, now so step one, Illustrator. Step two, Photoshop. Step three, After Effects. Okay, because branding doesn't finish at two-dimensional um, still images. Okay, video, video marketing is huge now, so you got to get that 3D logo in there. So step three, we bring that uh, file, and you need the vector file to do this. So that's another reason why we start in Illustrator, because we want that vector shape to bring into um, After Effects and turn it into 3D. Now you could use 3D software, uh, but thanks to a great plugin from Video Copilot, Element 3D, we can bring this into After Effects, we can very easily turn this into a 3D object and then add texture, add animation, add sound effects, add explosions, lens flares, motion blur, and create a really cool uh, video logo intro. Okay, so this is kind of the last step of your branding. You've done the 2D branding, we're now on to the 3D video branding. Okay, so that kind of clears it up for you, uh, Photoshop versus Illustrator. There's really no versus because you do need both whenever it comes to logo design. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that uh, tutorial. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what do you think. What are your thoughts? Do you use Photoshop or Illustrator to design your logo? Let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. Uh, any other design marketing questions, just comment below. Don't forget to follow me on social media. All the links are right there and check out another video. I go into more detail about logo design. You can check that out right there. I've got some tutorials and templates. If you'd like to work with me, click that link. It'll, it'll give you to a contact form where you can reach me and we can work out an awesome logo for your business. Okay, this is Rob Baldwin. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.